and welcome to the show. We are here today, thank you, Brayson, on Beam for another relay race. Uh, the way this works is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a set amount of PI to work with, or whatever the performance power to weight ratio of the vehicles is uh, to work with. In this case, it's 0 0.4 split between the two vehicles. However, they weren't allowed to have uh, identical power to weight ratios. You couldn't have just two cars at 0 0.2. You had to have at least uh, a bit of difference so that the closest they could be is at 0 0.18 and 0 0.22. There's been... Most cars have gone... No one's gone completely crazy in terms of this. Vehicles have got to complete for the heats. Vehicles have got to complete uh, a lap each. So these front row, the BXs will complete a lap and then change over to their teammates. At some point they must take a joker lap. One of the cars must take a joker lap uh, on its run. Uh, Amy has got the slightly faster of the BXs, I believe. But of course they will then have the slower car coming next. Neither of the lead uh, pair opt for the Joker lap on the first time. You may recognize this circuit. Uh, this is, I believe, I can't remember the name of it, the Swedish Rallycross track. I remember driving it on uh, Dirt Rally 2. Uh, Shados has gone very sideways, recovers it just about, loses a bit of time, bit too much sideways there for the BX. Uh, one of the things you've got to be careful of is the curbs. They will roll the cars. Another thing you've got to be careful of, this track is majority tarmac with a bit of dirt. Most cars here are running slicks because they're so much faster on the tarmac but they will be a handful when I get to the dirt. We're getting to the changeover point. Shadows has caught quite nicely in the later stages. Uh, there is the handover there between the two teams. Longbow has got the lead with the Super Widgeon, or whatever it's called. Uh, Rusky with a much more sensible eye series. They're both going to have to go take the Joker lap, so they're going to end up kind of slowing each other down. Uh, the eye series overshoots a little bit. It's going to kind of pull itself through this section. The widget is unbelievably loud. I'm not sure what engine it is, but it's deafeningly loud here. Longbow doing a good job of keeping that thing... Honestly, Longbow doing a good job of keeping that thing on its wheels. That's far from easy uh, with that. I'm imagining it's got a lot of acceleration because it's small and light. Here comes Rusky, though. Got a little bit more power in the I-Series. Found a gap to go for it. Has made a pass stick as we head around the penultimate corner. There is one turn to go. Will Longbow be able to do anything? Oh, no. It bounced awkwardly on the landing. Longbow had to push it, and that's understandable. Rusky crosses the line, and that is victory for uh, Shados and Rusky. Yeah, Lombo just got an awkward bounce on the landing there. Uh, held on incredibly well. Fair play. <laughs> the Super Widget is not the easiest thing in the world to drive. Uh, so yeah, well done. Holding it for that long. But uh, they are they're not out. They'll go into the Spanner final. Rusky and Shados are, uh, are guaranteed through to the next round. So, because of the numbers that we have, we've got to do it a little bit sided but let's not worry about that we've got three cars in the next heat uh the first will guarantee uh, into the semi-finals bottom two are into the spanner final uh, i am teamed up with shadow this time uh, shadow has the sarah and i have got an sbr4 uh we're against joe and stevie with a covert and a grand marshal brazen and gliska uh, with a lansdale and wendover uh so shadow is my car in this is the fastest of the like teammate vehicles i have the highest uh power to weight ratio here at 0 0.25 i mean it's not by a crazy amount uh brazen is not far away from me but uh yeah we're, our vehicle is very very fast uh the okay the toyota is off to a good start I get up onto two wheels a little bit uh Joe is into the Joe Club. Now, I'm sending Shadow through the Joe Club. I think that is better for our team uh, to do things that way around. Uh, my vehicle, funnily enough, does not particularly enjoy the dirt. Uh, the Toyota's got loads and loads of grip in the corners, which is great. I am going to have work to do here with the SBR4. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard work. Uh, we have got possibly the fastest car here, but it's not a long lap to try and make up this time. Joe is... Uh, uh, through there. That's one of the tricky corners. Now, of course, Brazen didn't do the joke lap, so Gliska is going to have to do that joke lap. Shadow's done a good job, actually, at the end of this uh, to get us close with the SBR4. It's uh, hands over to us. There's a little bit of wheel spin off the line. Gliska has the lead, but will not have the lead as they come out of the joke lap, I wouldn't have thought. Can we cut underneath Stevie here? It's going to be side by side. Stevie gets a lot of air time. That was scary as anything. Now, through the dirt, my car isn't great. Uh, we're always going to have a little bit of difficulties through that section. SBR4, hold it. 
through there if you can, which it does. We can now run away, really helped by the fact those two are having a very big tussle back there. That is good news for me. Don't flip it on a curb. It's very possible with this. We head towards the final corner. As far as heats go, that was a nice smooth, that was a nice smooth heat for us. Uh, oh, Stevie, by the looks of it, may have had... Uh, oh, Stevie slid off. That was a, that was a good heat for us. Because Shadow did a really good job of just keeping it really, really close to the fight there. That's, uh, that helped me immensely. We snuck past... If we hadn't got past Stevie heading over that jump, we could have had uh, a lot more strife because Glisten got out of the Joker surprisingly well. Um, I will take that. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking good for uh, for me and Shadow here. We are guaranteed. We avoid going through the Spanner Final. So, we are on to the Spanner Final. Now, the top two from this will go through into the semi final because this is the final. It's a little bit different. So, this is a four lap race. Each car has got to do two laps. Uh, they've only got to do one Joker from those four laps. So, there's a, even more tactics have been thrown in to this one. But there is also more laps and more chance for cars to fall over. Uh, Joe with a little bit of a little bit of a flinch there. And we are off and underway. The Covets, the Mr. Turbo is almost into the lead of the race. Not quite. It's side by side with the BX through there. And they are going to go very close. Uh, Joe is going to be sort of forced into the Joker. Gliska opted to go for the Joker. Uh, I don't know whether they overshot the corner. They might have outbraked themselves a little bit and gone into the Joker. Uh, it's all oh, the Covets bouncing around up onto its side. The Wendover is very sideways for a front-wheel drive car. Uh, Joe's had a good... It seems like a de decent section. I think that's just like a concert teetering up through the corner. Amy has got a nice uh, lead through this, but of course has a Joker. Now, I don't know if the plan is for... I think Maybe it is the plan for the BX to go through the Joker lap. Uh, of course, Amy's got to try and get as big a lead as possible to hand over to the Super Widget. Uh, Gliska, so I think these are the fastest cars potentially being sent out first here from Amy and Joe. I think and Brazen, I believe, is the faster of the two vehicles there. Amy is not going for the Joker lap here. Uh, Joe launches that cover. Joe's in a pretty good spot here. Uh, don't roll off of the curb. Here comes the Wendover. The Wendover just wants to be close to the lead cars. Uh, it, the Wendover looks very cool. It might not be very fast, but it does look very cool as a race car. Uh, Amy wants to get it pulled away a little bit using the power of the BX there. Bit of a brake lock up uh, through this next corner. A little bit wide for Joe, but it is sometimes advantageous to go wide and not hit the curb. So, change over time. The Widgeon has got to try and survive for two laps. Uh, Joe is across the line. Stevie is released with the Grand Marshal. Now, Gliska will hand over to Brazen, and they are off and underway. Uh, the Widgeon is not going for the Joker lap here. It's going to be a question of can Brazen catch? So, Brazen has probably got the fastest car here, but has the most work to do. Uh, Longbow has the lead, has the track position, but is in a Widgeon. A kind of jacked up widget that has a very high possibility of falling over uh, Stevie has got a Grand Marshal that is well, you know, pretty big and pretty heavy but uh, he's going to have a look for the lead maybe down here can't quite do it it's got to be careful on the curbs Stevie actually rolled out of the heat on that one oh Longbow with a big twitchy moment it's still twitching it's done it again it's gone oh the wheels come off <laughs> the wheels come off the pigeon oh no it's exactly the same place you just couldn't deal with the landing of the uh, of the bump there Brazen sends it into turn one just about gets it stopped in time oh Stevie's gone off oh the side of the curb got away clonked the wall uh, but got away with it that has given Brazen the lead of the race I mean it's not over if somebody flips one of these cars there is a chance Longbow may not have lost a wheel on their screen I don't know uh, this is always the fun of the desyncing occasionally on beam considering how well that's going I feel like it must be running on four wheels uh, Brazen has got the lead of the race if they don't do anything silly uh, through here, which they do not. Uh, Brazen will head into the final corner. It will be victory for the Lansdale. It'll be a second place and through to the next round for uh, Stevie and 
Joe in this one. And then we are just waiting for the pigeon. Uh, at will. Um, oh, of course, Lobby might reset. Sorry, but I forgot. We, we have got the rule where they, you can you can reset in place as long as there's as long as you don't cause an accident uh, in doing that. Um, so I presume it did. It's a wheel then. Uh, unlucky, a bit unlucky. The, the, the witch is surprisingly okay, but it just couldn't deal with this bump. This bump was nasty. It caused issues. It might even be this bit here. You can kind of see it. Uh, this kind of bumpy section. Uh, whatever it was, yeah. It just could not deal with the landing. And somehow Brazen's been rolled over. Not even going to ask what was going on there between teammates. But anyway, we're on to the... Uh, semi-finals we are on to the first of our semi-finals we've got me and shadow uh, drawn up against gliska and brazen some of these are known actually gliska and brazen have gone for slightly different tires they've gone for like the sport like sport plus tires so they've they're better in the dirt than me and shadow on slicks but they're not quite as good on the tarmac uh, which is a choice you were out you were allowed free reign uh which is an interesting choice certainly i think they're the only team that's really gone with those um we're sticking with the strategy that worked so very well for us last time around. Shadow is going to go first uh, with the Sarah. I'm going to try and get away. I'm going to shuffle my car forward so I don't have to do it later on. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get Shadow through the Joker lap. We will come out the other, hopefully, with the lead. Didn't realise, actually, technically speaking, Brazen's vehicle is ever so slightly higher power to weight ratio. Gliska's trying to steal Shadow's bumper. And it's come off, and Gliska's eaten it. Uh, Gliska's going to send it to the inside. It's a big two-wheel moment for the Wendover. but there's definitely been some rally cross-contact through there. Uh, I mean, Shadow's car's got lighter, technically, which helps. Tell you what, the Toyota is really good out of that long corner. It's really, really good uh, getting out of there. Uh, Gliska is a little bit behind, but yeah, Bra Brazen's vehicle is technically a tiny bit faster than mine, but we only toyed by 0 0.004. Uh, it looks like... We are going to hand over with the lead of the race here for Orange Team. The SBR4 is off and underway. Of course, I'm rear-wheel drive and rear-engined. We get off the line like crazy. Brazen's front-wheel drive, Lansdale, not quite so much. I've got to be mindful of the curbs here, because uh, that is something that can cause me grief. Uh, the Lansdale will... Pro this section here is maybe where the Lansdale will gain, because I have to be very, very mindful of the SBR4 wanting to swap ends. I think just the speed I can get this car off the line is what makes the difference here. Don't know why, my engine is starved of oil. That's slightly alarming. Nothing... Well... Actually, nothing to... We will make a lap. That gives me slight concerns for a longer race, but there we go. Uh, we will jump and we will round the final corner. Nothing nothing silly, nothing crazy. The SBR4 is through. We are into the final. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the way this one is going. Drives very nicely. I've got to be mindful on the dirt. It is a bit sketchy, but the Toyota is able... Oh, is that thing front-wheel drive? I thought that was rear-wheel drive. I take it back. Oh, that is front-wheel drive. Um, oh, well, that's launched incredibly well. I guess it's very light against the Wendover. Uh, have less power, but yeah, that gets off the line quite nicely. Um, yeah, uh, the, the fact that I can launch the rear-wheel drive car, that's going to build me a nice gap against Brazen and, yeah, the Lansdale. Not able to catch. Me and Shadow are in to the final. We're on to the second of the semi-finals. Rusky and Shados against Joe and Stevie. They are Sendy Joe is in the faster car, I believe. Uh, so in theory, the Covet should come out of this with the lead, uh, and then Stevie's going to have to hold on with the Grand Marshal. Uh, that is in theory, of course, how it is going to go. Not sure who's going to be taking Joe Collapse when and where. They are off and underway. It's a similar start between the pair of them. Joe is going to take the lead into the first corner, sweeps across. Brave move from Joe. Gets all crossed up, though, going into the Joe lap. Gathers it up quite nicely. Uh, nevertheless, uh, there is that cover looks twitchy. Maybe a little bit of lag going on, because I can't imagine that be very drivable if it's that, that twitchy, but there we have it. Mind the massive curbs that can cause issues uh, around here as we head around the long, long left-hander for the cars. Joe's still looking a bit twitchy and a bit wiggly through all of that. Over the dirt section we go. Won't be any... Not too much of a problem down there. You can kind of mostly uh, just keep it flat, even with the slick tide. Cars, Joe's had a massive twitch. Joe is taking an adventure around the, 
heading back onto the circuit. Well, I mean, Joe is <laughs> going to get across the line. He's, he's going to release Stevie, but he's going to release Stevie behind uh, in this one. Joe <laughs> sent it off the... Uh, off the concrete. Uh, don't have the wreck roll onto the track. It does not. Uh, the well-behaved tyre bounces just across in front of Stevie, who launched it. Big two-wheel moment for the Grand Marshal there, and Shados is all crossed up. Stevie followed. Don't follow each other and making the same exact same mistakes through there. Big two-wheel moment. Shados very, very sideways uh, on the way through that one. Stevie's, Stevie's just not quite got the power in this or you know the grand marshal very heavy car uh, it's quite accelerated away although we already seen joe have one big accident down here uh shados does not stevie's car probably a bit more compliant over the bumps as we round the final corner it is going to be an understeery but victory for <laughs> shados and stevie crashes into Joe. I mean, it was a good recovery, considering the size of the accident the Covert had going into that uh, final section. It was a big one, to be fair. It was a good recovery from Joe. Always going to be difficult. Um, you know, the plan would have been to hand over to Stevie with the lead of the race, and you know, if you're on the back foot at that point. Shados and Rusky did what they needed to, though. They, uh, they went through that one cleanly, and they are in to the final. So, it is on to the final. It is Shados and Rusky versus me and Shadow. Four lap race here. Each car's got to go two laps. We are sticking with what we know. Shadow is going to go first. Shadow is going to take the joker lap when they can, when it's relatively uh, calm, so to speak. Uh, and I'm going to then have to chase down Rusky. That is the goal. We're going for this way. Um, the SBR4 is mighty in this. Uh, I'm curious about tyres, actually. That is on slicks as well. Uh, right, we will just shuffle the SBR4 forward. And then we will go back into the free camera. So, we're expecting to be behind uh, the the other team. That is that is what we're expecting here. Uh, Shadow is into the Joker lap. Well, maybe around a little bit deep, but it's fine. He's on the dirt. It's always going to be a smidge difficult. Shados is very sideways in that uh, BX. Of course, can't be doing that with the Sarah. Uh, it's well, it's front-wheel drive, as I found out. I don't know why I assumed it was rear-wheel drive. Um, but it's also likely to grip roll. That is the thing. Shadow has got to be careful. That thing is on slick tyres. It's quite top-heavy. It, it will grip roll. The uh, easiest provocation uh, through the fast right is a great fun corner, that one. Uh, no clips on the kerb for this race. And Shadow is right there. The Sarah has got great speed through these corners. We're across the line onto their second lap. It is close between the pair of them. Now, neither has to take the Joker. Uh, Shadow wisely stays clear of the kerb. I mean, the racing line does sort of take you towards the kerb, but you've really got to be mindful of it because uh, it will cause problems. It'll cause problems for my SBR4 as well. Uh, Shadow's oh, hit the kerb, ran a little bit wide through there. Oh, and it's in trouble. Shados is in trouble, and it's gone round. Yeah, pushing hard. It's, it's a difficult one. You're pushing as hard as you can to try and build as much of a lead as possible for uh, Rusky in that one. Oh, Shadow almost clipped the curb through there. Almost got into trouble. Uh, Shadow is going to head around the final corner, and is going to hand over to the SBR4. Now... We have got... Uh, <laughs> Amy is once again trying to kick me. We've got a relatively comfortable lead here. It's not to say I cannot make mistakes. There is a chance of having an accident uh, around here. My car does not like the dirt section. And there is a chance of falling over at the corners. On the curbs, really. That is an ever-present danger. Oh, that's the wrong gear through there. Uh, I can hear an I-series somewhere around the place. The SBR4 just wants to go a little bit sideways through all of that. I touched the kerb and wouldn't have wanted to have done any more than any more than that. And again there, don't want to touch the kerb any more than we did. Uh, oh, don't light up the rear of the car. You know what? We will be we'll be, say we'll be nice. Uh, we will run for an additional Joker lap just to put the SBR4 through here because it never actually had a go through the Joker lap. Uh, if I end up losing to Rusky now, it would be funny. Uh, but there we go. Well, God, that section there is so sketchy. Um, that's, that section is really, really dicey. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the peanut gallery is less pleased about the, the fact that we did an additional Joker lap. Uh, but there we go. We will head 
don't flip it on the kerb. Uh, there is a big jump for us. And around the final turn, we will head with the SBR4. Uh, <laughs> you can try. Shados will not be able to get to it. It's, it's unfortunate for Purple Team uh, in that one. Yeah, it's just clonked on the curb a little too hard and that was what that was what did it uh the the sarah and the sbr4 i mean these were probably the cars to beat uh in this the sarah very very good um and minimal mistakes made neither of us hit curbs both of us could very easily fall over in this one uh my if my aero falls off my car drives terribly um so <laughs> <laughs> the peanut gallery has also got confused <laughs> with Joe. Joe was trying to move the camera around and typing. Amazing stuff. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that is a, a rallycross relay. Uh, yeah, we had we had some very very good, some very good cars there for the orange team. Um, and we would, yeah, take the victory in that one. Unfortunate for Shadows there at the end. It is the way it goes sometimes. This is a chat, a very cool circuit, a uh, very fun track. Um, most what playground as ever is excellent. That though is going to be it from me. But thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, uh, yeah, goodbye.